New media art crosses so many subgenres and can be used by any piece of medium necessary. The concept of new media art is always changing shapes and forms, consequently influencing different messages and movements. Feminism is one such movement that can be benefited from new media. We focused on showcasing three new media art feminists and their contribution to the development in the field. We first talk about Barbara Kruger and her use of vocalizing sexual discrimination. Secondly, we discuss Benny Slinger and her experimental process of photographing her own body nude as a form of self-expression. And lastly, we delve into Dara Brimbom's criticism of the unrelenting male gaze in media that involves women. As a collective, these three artists and their works make a proudly feminist stride towards the dismantling of gender stereotypes and the reconstruction of female power. I always say I try to make work about how we are to one another. Today, women can vote, can have job opportunities, can be seen and heard. All these rights we have can never be done without the women who fought before us. Famous feminist independent scholar Sarah Amon once stated that when we describe what it is that we do, when we consider how it is that we arrive at the grounds we inhabit, we need to appreciate the feminist word that comes before us and all its complicity. Feminist predecessors such as Barbara Kruger use their methods of voicing to cut through sexual discriminations and injustice using new media art. She was born in 1945 in Newark, New Jersey. In the early 70s, she discovered that her work lacked meaning, so she searched for meaning during her one-year experience teaching at schools such as University of California, Berkeley, to question and change the system that contained us is what Cougar used to search for how our identity is being formed through the structure of the culture and society we live in. In 1989, Cougar marched with many people to protest for women's rights to legal abortion. The banner she held in her firm hand stating, Your body is a battleground, encouraged many women to speak up for their rights. On the banner, a woman's face is being depicted and dissected into a photo with both positive and negative photographic reproduction. On both left and right sides of the banner lies a red slim rectangle. The main focus of the words, your body is a battleground, are being distributed powerfully through the usage of red background with white bold text. In many of her works, the existence of lines of text with red rectangular background and bold white typeface that are waving on the banners cannot be ignored. These words are not only slogans on banner being used in the protest, it is also a strong and steady voice to inform the world of the power a woman gains. But I hadn't really seen the tools being used this specifically and dynamically to look at the state of the feminine consciousness, the feminine psyche, the role that the feminine had in the whole world of art. Penny Slinger is a British feminist artist who is based in California. Her work was widely recognized around the 1960s to the 1970s. However, in 1982, after a solo show, she decided to leave the art industry. She became tired of how sexist and narrow-minded society has proven to be. In 2009, her work was rediscovered and was included in the Angels of Arnarchy show in Manhattan, which highlighted the art created by female surrealists. In 1973, Slinger created a series of photographs called the Bright's Cake series. In this artwork, she's seen sitting down in the wedding cake costume, which reveals her genitals. She created the elaborate costume herself and used herself as her muse for this project. The costume contained a tear cake that had a removable slice right in between her thighs. In the collage, she pulled this with a male friend who acts as the groom. Once the slice is removed, Slinger uses various images to be incorporated into these photographs that are used to cover her genitals. This piece relates how her work is based on the perspective of a woman and showed her interest in the power of sexualities and images. Slinger started creating her feminist artwork at a very young age. She was always very passionate about creating art to challenge the societal views on women. 
Slinger's series of photos received a tremendous amount of negativity as her work was considered too explicit for society. Although her work received backlash, she did not let it affect her and continued to create her art in such a narrow-minded world. The feminist movement was in motion at the time, however, the focus was mainly on equality of women regarding rights and privileges, which she found played down a woman's feminine qualities. Slinger decided to take her own approach, focusing on creating a positive portrayal of women's sexuality, which was frowned upon for so long. A woman's value was judged through the eyes of a man, which made her art so refreshing. It was what society needed to open everyone's eyes to see that a woman is more than just a pretty face, and that she should be able to explore her sexuality freely. Another feminist artist covered within the course who used their own body and their art to send a message is Erika Otto Scotti. Erika is a performance artist from Venezuela who was motivated by the lack of self-expression in the media. In her work, she posts nude in public places and posted her work to social media. Her work, Venus de Carotata, was especially powerful as she was photographed standing completely nude by a river in Venezuela. Her main goal in doing this was to question the boundaries of freedom and self-expression. They were doing a lot with performance art on videotape. And I was really astonished by what that was. Dara Brenton is an American video and installation artist who played a large role in the development of the Pictures Generation, a movement of performative art meant to appropriate and criticize pop media culture. Her 1978 video television art, Technology Slash Transformation, Wonder Woman in one such critical piece with a feminist angle. Video art as a new media byproduct made its way to Brimbaum's attention since she was able to play around with the appearance and masquerade of already available tape to fit her own narratives. In video art, a guided tour, Catherine Elvis reinforced the medium's ability to do this well since the viewer could use the work of art as a talesman and be transported to higher levels of aesthetic experience. With technology slash transformation Wonder Woman, Brimbrun's main goals were to expose the male gaze propaganda of an ideal woman created within an industry that men dominated, where they could form a commodified corporate image of a woman. The piece remains an iconic example of dominating the male gaze within pop culture. It starts with the scene of Diana transitioning from formal and conservative into the combat and appropriate and suggestive Wonder Woman attire. Though the use of loops and special effects, Brimburn portrays, as Montreal's MAC Museum expresses, the mechanism that control the representation of women within the culture of Hollywood, especially in a suggestive sense. Furthermore, Brimburn decides to select these transformation of Wonder Woman in her full grace as a strong and empowering superhero that she is deliberately avoiding to showcase Diana reverting back to her secretary self, which would lead to her losing her status as a hero and gaining the status of a stereotypical woman during the late 70s. The ironic narrative here forces the audience to notice how media pushes the idea of a woman being capable due to some inhumane ability. Dara Brimbaum tells Art News, How dare you confront me with this supposedly superpower image of a woman who is stronger than I am and can also save mankind. I can't do that. There's no middle ground in between. Feminism promotes the coexistence of more than one kind of heroic woman, so she calls for relatable middle ground that constructs such narrow ideas of female empowerment. New media has allowed for the expansion of so many different movements and ideas. Feminism in particular has been and will most likely always be one such ideology that uses the field to its advantage. With the inspiring works of artists of Barbara Kruger, Penny Slinger, and Dara Brimbaum, feminism remains immortalized in the art and social world, ready to ignite even the tiniest sparks in future leaders seeking empowerment and change.